Well, the entire game just froze again. you could make it. some woman not to hang out in oops, the cemetery. Let's get rid of you first again. So I need to convince Xiao Shun to not stay in the cemetery. Because, you know, death and decay is running around. Ow! A leech! A leech on society's resources. Is there anything new in here? Nope. just got into the cemetery when it froze on me. Which is why there's no people around here. As of yet. what the steward beast is like where it comes from you're just supposed to assume that it's the sewer dog right shall shun are you all right my name is shall shun this is the proper way to address someone in my country i do apologize shall shun are you all right yes i am this is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. Uh, How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? My only relief is that my Matthew died before seeing the madness that approaches. I'm afraid we won't survive this trial, Dr. Reed. 
Oh, you will. Before success is Tell me how your husband died, Xiao Shu. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days. But for me, it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming. To have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come, or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. Maybe the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day, maybe, I'll go back to them. Why? But not what now. I need silence. And I need Pokemon. sadness. Fucking mm. okay, Pokemon. Um, What's sadness. Uh. Oh. I've seen now. many deaths in my life. And we all grieve in our own way. Some stay silent, or need to shout. Others need company, and some just can't stand it. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you're trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. One more thing says it's not got. But you're not in dead. Battery. There is a difference between visiting the dead and staying with me. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say. I too have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please accept my condolences for your loss then, Dr. Reed. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why you killed her? That's not dying. Is you killed her twice. Make me feel better? She will rest in the cemetery forever. She died. No, you can't. And I'll spend eternity hoping that she can forgive me. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need <coughs> silence too. Sorry. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Xiaoshu. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. Right, have I unlocked any? No. Oh. Goodbye, for now. Matthew. The worst.
world has gone completely mad. Before we go around opening up uh, the west end, I think we should run around Whitechapel and cure people and get a few more side missions finished. Because those are for XP as well. What did he bury her? What about the fireball? Hello, sir. Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. Let it cannot be safe for a blind man to live here alone. Let me enter, sir. I swear I mean you no harm. Well, a voice never lies, and yours clearly is the voice of a gentleman. All right, doctor, come on in. What kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this late hour? How do you know it's dark again? So what is the name of my nocturnal visitor? <laughs> I'm Dr. Alex. Jonathan Reed. As I already explained to you, I'm inquiring about the epidemic. Dr. Reed? The eminent surgeon? My god! I'd never have expected a brilliant physician like you to knock on my door. You flatter me. No, sir, I am Diamond, I made you I read all your work when I still had my sight. I love it. The thing. I'm Mason Swanborough, by the way. Uh, testing out what the roles are. the sanitary meant. situation I evolving in uh, you go on community I hear them hissing and you click on roles and then you type door in every night. It allows you to Sick choose between moderator and VIP. But these walls are thick. And my editor. Is solid. And what else have you learned about me, Mr. Swanborough? I know you assisted Professor Carell in France. And that you invented a new blood transfusion method based on his work. Yes. Those were frustrating but exciting days. I loved it. Yes, the thrill of research and discovery. This is what drives people like us, Dr. Reed. Oh, how I envy you. Someone Does someone care. take care of you in this isolated Very place? Important. My sister Loretta and I have our <laughs> daily routine. Very important. Every morning and evening she comes you just by so the, we can uh, talk sibling and eat. Then she leaves and I stay. My stream cut halfway through, so I think it's going to be in two parts again. appreciate your sister's visit? Loretta is the best and worst thing that happened to me. And I believe she could say the same thing about me. Where does your sister go? Well, let's just say, she earns enough money for us both. What's so amusing about that? I won't hide the truth from you. Loretta sells a fake miracle elixir to the sick people of Whitechapel. Personal Loretta. Loretta 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 Do you know, know Braille, Braille, Mr. Swan? Yes. I'm no expert, but I learned it in my spare time, yes. Why? I found a strange document entitled Cure for Blindness. It's written in Braille, so I thought I perhaps it was yours. I don't think any I've managed to complete. Authentic. And it actually refers to an experimental cure for blindness. You have piqued my interest, Dr. Reed. Could it be of any use to you? No. This page is just a part of a larger diary. I'd be glad if you could find the other pages. Goodbye, Mr. Swan. I'll leave you now. And while wandering in this you're blind, tonight, you're either I'm going to rob the entire contents of your house. What was that too? Loretta's letter. Dear brother, this is an apology you'll never read. Could have done it in Braille. Why is there blood on his bed? I 
Oh no. It's Don't locked. Say that. <laughs> Hi, how are you all? Welcome. You're feeble. <laughs> I didn't see him. That's not fair. struggling to have a ma maintain three I'm still stuck on 1.9 viewer average and I was kind of hoping it'd jump to two but it's not hopefully with this it would make up for uh, being stuck at 1.9 we need two or 2.1 everybody <laughs> okay. am I back in the cemetery Does that mean I've now not talked to that guy? Oh, no. I didn't cure him while I was there. Ooh, letters. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. Bill! Go pray! Haha. See you over there this guy. Stay in my corner. Go cure that guy of his headache. Hi, Good welcome. evening, Mr. Swan. Is it you, Dr. Reed? Reed? Please come in. Wandering in this part of town at night, you're either. What can I do? You seem I'm actually. Fuck. Sorry, dude. Oh, no, no, not now. Later, later, perhaps. I'm going to cure you. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I'll leave you. Wandering in this part of town. Blind and have a headache. Alright. Where the frick are you coming from? Stupid newborn! before we open up the uh, west end as it were 
you're a lot fine. Psychopathic priest, Barrett, Joe, and these two. So no reason to go through that. Good evening, Mr. His father, Whitaker, my son. So, are you still lost in your rational delusions? Don't you uh, fear getting sick yourself? Faith, give me all I need, my son. If I must fall, then so be it. No doubt your faith will prevail. But let me give you some extra protection against the devils with the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days. Don't you hear the trumpets? The apocalypse is upon us, Dr. Reed. And you call me delusional? The final battle. Oh, did that one. Oh, no. Have you any friends? Any family left in these terrible times? No. But I have a disciple I see as my son. He is so devoted. I sent him to preach the good word in the heart of this corrupted city. Did Where did you, you send him? I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery, where the pestilence and evil grows night after night. You sent him on some preaching crusade during the epidemic? As a true believer, Samuel will fear no evil while he walks through the valley of the shadow of death. I have had enough for tonight. Goodbye. Uh, so, go cure everybody. Make the thing for uh, migraines. Wander off. And you again? Night. How is the sanitary situation? I'm not easily scared, but crazy killers and armed patrols are lurking about. My son's right about this place. Why do you keep on working for the gang, Joe? You know it doesn't suit you. It's true, I hate this job. And I know I made some bad choices, but I'm a wet boot boy now. People won't forget it. You could leave tomorrow. Yeah, Start another mom. life in another town. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. We are poor. My son's weak, and there's no way he'll endure another disappointment. So you offer continual Can I offer you my medical expertise, Mr. Peterson? Keep your medicines for others. There is a thin oh, line between on, pride and stupidity, sir. Please take this medication. You'll feel better. All right. I'll take it in. It's not like I don't appreciate the gesture. Goodbye. Goodbye. Right, come on, monkey ears. Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus, do you? Do you need help, sir? To be honest, I'd prefer you take a look at my stuff. I don't quite agree, but I won't argue with you. Please, take this. You'll feel better. Really? Free? <laughs> don't take it personally, but charity usually comes at a price. Human nature being what it is. I won't eat you. Joe Peterson. He's Hello, the villain Hello, welcome here, everybody. How but are you all to today? Know I've known Joe for years. I saw him box once or twice. He was a friend then. But these days, he's just another thug. Mm. What can you Joe's tell me going? about Mr. Peterson? Besides his behavior toward you, obviously. Colossus Joe was a decent boxer, good one even. But after his wife passed away, he found every excuse to stop training. Just wanted to pick fights with everyone. Without making excuses for him, it's safe to say that despair can poison even the sanest mind. We've all had some rough times, ain't we? But most of us don't use our fists to see us through. 
And no one has ever stood up to this thug. Nobody will be fool enough to stand against the wet boot, boy. How are the current conditions in Whitechapel? Well, there's more people outside at night than during the day, then you've got to start to worry. Goodbye for now, Mr. Lewis. Yeah, fine. Appreciate the lurks. The lurky lurks. Uh, I just need the table and then I can heal people. My green lurking. <laughs> hey man. Cold. My green. You weren't gonna load. What are you doing down here? Right, so obviously there's a point where you can view stuff and find out something about him, like a hint. But I'm not come at a point where you can spy on him. Good evening, my dear colleague. 
You look ill, Miss Swan. Before I rip into you. I wonder, I wonder if it's illegal. Drug production. I have no doubt it will. But I'm not again. Well, there you have it. Take this remedy, but be discreet. It may damage your business. Thank you. How is the sanitary situation evolving in White Channel these days? When people buy guns instead of medication, it means they have already traded hope for fear in their hearts. In my book, that's never a good thing, Doctor. I just realised it's a box. Straight around a room. Loretta, your miraculous formula wouldn't even cure a common cold, and you know it. The Swanborough's cordial secret ingredient is hope, Doctor. And it's something people around here really need. A placebo effect is real and has benefit. But in your case, you could be murdering your customers who may die because they are not receiving the necessary medical attention. Medical attention? In Whitechapel? Trust me, my cordial is the best option they have, since it is the only one. Yes. Uh, well... As it is a placebo of sorts. Perhaps it may have some positive effect. See? You have to admit I'm doing some good. The Swanborough family is not poisoning anybody, Doctor. But you are giving them juice. Why do Loretta, you why do you feel so guilty about Hi, welcome. I don't expect him to forgive me. All I can do is make amends for what I did. By making him a crook and a criminal. What if somebody decides to make him pay for your scam? Mason is totally capable of defending himself. Just leave fine. us be. We're perfectly fine. This place may be busy. Don't you think he needs to be somewhere he can receive appropriate medical care? Mason wants to be useful. Can you understand that? And chemistry is his passion. And the Swanborough Cordial gives him a purpose in life. Perhaps we'll talk again. Oh, perhaps not. Right, now we need to go find a brother again. So, which way did I come from? This way. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you doing today, Fiji? Come on, Callaghan, move. Okay. <laughs> Must be hard during current climate. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy your uh, day off. It is much needed these days. Good evening, Mr. Swan. Is it you, Dr. Reed? Please come in. <laughs> What can I do for you, Doctor? I don't know then. You seem unwell, sir. Do you need my assistance? Actually, I feel worse than usual. Can you give me something? Yes. I can give you a little something. I tried something, doing this before. It turned out I didn't have any effective. migraine thank management. You, Had to drop your phone. Ah, oh, thank you. It means a lot to me. Your sister seems to believe this miracle this elixir sure business is somehow doing you good. Loretta believes that keeping busy is what I need to be happy. And is she wrong? My sister is wrong about almost everything. But as long as she thinks she's in charge, she can be nice. <laughs> Why does your sister feel so guilty about what happened to you? 
Because she knows I'll never forgive what she did to me. You run an illegal business with someone you hate? I don't hate my sister. She looks after me, we have a good time. And I'm just not ready to forgive her. Fair enough. Just to... Uh, uh, on World War II and for the point, she started playing dumb. <laughs> Fair enough. Goodbye, Mr. Swan. It is a good I'll game, isn't it? I'm hoping they'll bring out a vampire too. Wondering in this part of town. Because of how it you're ends. Brave or Jumping fire, Dr. Reed. What have I got to do? I've got to go here. We've got a fair few. Remove that. carry on immediately or they set it a few years in the future interrogate Dr. Tippins oh yeah they could do the depression during World War II we'll all offer our suggestions to the creators of vampire uh, about where they should do their next um, <laughs> vampire setting. I and think they'll be a completely different vampire. Well, because it's the same time zone. Yeah. So as he's doing this in, in, in England, and the vampires doing something else. Yeah, but I'd prefer if it stayed in England. They always end up in America. To be fair, I wouldn't mind doing like a vampire prelogue where it's, you're going through um, Lady Ashbury's time stream. You know how she's William Bishop's blood and stuff like that. I think you could do like a really good series for this.
Good evening, Dr. Tibbet. Oh, well. Dr. Reed, any good news um, to share? I think there's three acts and I'm on act For course, two. I want you to tell me about Part Mr. Cobb. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. Uh, he Who was he? this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks. Maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk oh, with you. No one thing. claimed the body. Uh -huh. um, Why not stop practicing? No. Are you mad? I'll move on I killed this. that man, I admit it. And it won't happen again. I have I'll saved so many do, lives like, since our story based games. What was the nature of the mistake? <coughs> it was Might a do Uncharted error. or Last of Us. My diagnosis was tale. wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. <laughs> um, you You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. Weird games back then. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Uh, Nurse, Nurse Branigan is worried. is worried about you, Doctor. <laughs> she should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Branigan's opinion is the only one I may listen to. <laughs> Nurse, Nurse Branigan has been recently accused of neglecting her professional duties. Tell me what you really think about it. This kind of protest is nothing but elitist bullshit. I trust Nurse Branigan with my life. She has what it takes to be a great doctor. Do you really think she could be the next Elizabeth Blackwell? Believe me, Dr. Reed, a time will come when skill and skill alone will determine who can be a physician and who cannot. I'll I will for cover for you, Dr. Tibbets, by keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I... I don't know what to say, actually. I can't exactly force you to become my accomplice. You didn't force me. This is my decision to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital, considering the situation. Then I can make I'm this promise. Advice, I don't really matter. As soon as the Fake epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. Oh no. So he's paid me to make him resign. Plan what will you do signature. after your resignation? Do you have a plan? I always fancied visiting Cyprus. Such a beautiful island. I could buy a house there, by the sea. Read poetry, and wait for death. Cool. Aww. I think I've ever actually asked him Goodbye, about Dr. what he plans to do after his retirement. Let's go talk to Brannigan. Where are we? Where's she gone? She never goes inside. begging, it just looks pathetic. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I see one every morning and it's something sparkles and her breasts are literally out. Oh, Brannigan! I wanted to talk to you. Good evening, yes, Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Ah. 
Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. I was kind of hoping she'd go like, I want to go to Cyprus too. Yeah, trust. I made a joke on camp. Yeah, I think that's a different streaming site, Harley. <laughs> to read them if you're interested. It's just this game would last a lot longer if I was to read everything out to everyone. Alright, we'll go reassure Thelma. graphics it's the same fucking motherboard as PS1. Could they not get it to work with PS1? Good evening, Miss Howell. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Mm. Yes, yes. Mm. Oh, Tell me, Thelma, you know. what do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then I knew I was saved. You mean you actually saw a vampire? Here in... Yes. And it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. You are no vampire. You are a delusional woman convinced she is something she is not. How convenient to call delusional anyone who does not share your precious rationale, Dr. Reed. All right, all right, calm down. I have made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Hapcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, Doctor. 
Why are they hunting me down? Uh, nobody was searching for There is no hunt, and nobody is searching for you. You're no threat to this hospital, and you have my word, you are perfectly safe here. Your lies demean you, Doctor. Do you really expect me to lower my guard? I know exactly who I am, and what I am dealing with. Don't listen then. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal <laughs> activities. I love how he's like so against it. He just dives in, feeding into a delusion. Right, let's get Doctor to So we've cured everyone. joining i'll be back on at the same time tomorrow i don't know what time it would be for you but here it would be 11 a.m <coughs> in the morning gmt time so thank you for joining and stick around and having a chat you have no idea how many times i'm like please say hi and they just ignore me so <laughs> thank you everyone bye bye